Yes, uh, because all these men that. Use the meat and ice cream. No, that's because. Yeah, it's up there. Check it out. Hold up. Take him. Take him. Look at this one. That's remember. Okay. Okay. You can see behind me everywhere the whole of this section of the market. Every shop you see here is a factory. They are called merchants of death. You know, such a name may baffle you anywhere. There are those people whose type of business are to put other people in harm's way, to place a lot of people in a perpetual misery. That is their job. They are the people, you know, dealing or doing any kind of business capable of buying other people without any care. They don't care how your gamer, no matter whose ox is God. They need your money by fair or foul means in exchange for that your perpetual gnashing of teeth. Because of the wrong decision you made to go for counterfeit items, to go for counterfeit drugs, to go for counterfeit wines and beverages. Ogu Emmanuel is my name. If you are new in this channel, you are highly welcome. And a special thanks to all my, you know, all my returning subscribers and all my esteemed viewers as well. A lot of people traveled home for this really tight season. You know, they, 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 they came back home probably from Lagos. Abuja, Aba, and many other places. Some even came in from, from abroad. You know, so with a lot of goodies for Christmas merriment, they came in with a lot of things they bought in the local market here. Either in Aba, Abuja, or whatever. You know, so there you can see some bags of rice, beans, assorted kinds of drinks most especially because that is the area we're going to talk about today what are we talking about it's about the wines you know and some hot drinks those those beverages some of you are consuming or about to consume especially during the xmas period do you know that some of those wines you share together with so much joy was produced in the most unhygienic environment and with, ve with just very little, very little care about the production and the equipment used in making those drinks possible? Have you ever, have you, have you ever bothered to ask about that? A lot of people have been sent to their early graves because they did not know that red wine he, they, they just took was the fake one, the counterfeit one. And you know, and that particular red wine is capable of giving you a lot of health challenges because it's, it's not the original one. That was the reason the National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control NAVDAC decided to close down up to 240 shops at the Cemetery Road Market in Aba, Abia State because of the counterfeiting of drugs and uh, many other things there, counterfeiting of packaged foods and other fake products. 
that is that is estimated to 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 be more than 700 million naira it was the director general of navdak professor mojisola adeyeye who disclosed this she said that this very raid because they raided the market so she said that this very raid that brought about the closing down of 240 shops in that market within the first two weeks of december in Aba are also taking place in other targets in the country they are moving to many places trying to safeguard people's lives so she came against the high rate and the increasing number of fake products counterfeited products that people are marketing that people are selling to others and people are buying innocently you know so she also asks everyone to be more careful of what they buy and consume because some of those fake products had adverse and long-term health consequences for the consumers they should be very careful so she said that this raid that took place at the uh, uh, cemetery road market Aba, caught those counterfeiters engaged in the production of varieties of beverages and other fake products including alcoholic and non-alcoholic uh, uh, non -alcoholic wines and other consumables of guard they did not even know when Navda people came. They be searched on those counterfeit makers. So they came, took them off guard. And in the process, the, the, the Navda people have gotten some of them. Some of them are in their possession right away. So Professor Moji Sola Ade said that it took them weeks to gather intelligence before they employed a sting operation you know this operation was meant to bust their criminal activities in that market which has been going on for a very long time they have been hearing about these particular activities in that very market and many other places so some of their criminal products includes a, a, a wide varieties of wines like schnapps dry jeans Four Cousins, Hennessy, Gordon's and London Dry Jeans. They also had non-alcoholic beverages like Ever, Ever Wines, Coca-Cola products and many others that you could not even imagine. So some of the activities in the market there includes revalidation of a, 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 a spiral product. You know, those, uh, uh, the, the, those ones that they are sure that the original but they they have expired they will try to change the expiration date move it forward to meet up with the current date and reality they will change the expiring date and most of those prod uh, products are do take place in most unhygienic environments with unclean water gushing out from here and there so when that Obama case was raided in the process up to uh, 1,500 cartons of fake product was destroyed. They seized up to 300 cartons, you know. They got, you know, 10, ten of those uh, counterfeit producers arrested at the scene of the crime. Our Boheban on air, Akuchi, you know, that package. That will work here, guys. <laughs> So this Navdak head advised the populace to always buy things from reputable supermarkets, you know, and avoid over cheap articles. So many people they love anything that 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 that, that has a very attractive price. They will buy without checking. And here the cheap on a book one model say so. You know, so. That the, the, the woman said that we should avoid cheap articles because it might be the fake one. So please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click like on my Facebook page. Ring the notification bell. Anyway, let's.
continue. Can we talk about some of the medicines we buy from the roadside and some of these uh, uh, quack chemist shops? Every day we blame the government. Every minute, every hour, every second, we blame the government for not doing enough to secure the to you know to secure the the health of its citizenry. But have we ever had to ask ourselves what are we doing to help? Because many of us are supporting, they are patronizing, they are using this product, they are supplying it. This I mean the counterfeit drugs and some of these uh, beverages, some of these killer uh, beverages. We help to promote those fake items that are detrimental to our health. It's not good for one to decide to kill kill himself. Oh God, could you just imagine the life of the of the one's former chairman of NAVDAC, one of our own, Professor Dora Akunyele? You know, she was once tried at on nature for, for trying to stand up to the antics of this so-called uh, merchant of death. Oh, I feel on this year, Potaka. I think I have food, ministry, the woman one time, and I work at that time, and I want I tried. Do you know that a lot of people has been sent to the great world beyond for taking all these uh, uh, counterfeit and substandard drugs by these evil merchants? They have killed a lot of people. More than you could record. More than war. Places where you have wars today have killed. They kill, they, those products kill people every day in their numbers. So the, the sole aim of the people in this mischievous business is only to make money. They don't care about any other thing. They don't even care about uh, if their brother or sister is going to be the next victim or not. They don't care if any of their relatives uses the counterfeit medicines or not. Profit making is the key for them. You know, so thousands of patients have, have died. Even in some hospitals and other medical homes, they have paid for using those uh, 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 fake, fake medicines and products. So, in some of the containers, you will see the packet of these fake drugs. You might be lucky to see a particular. One, maybe they wrote 500 milligram on, of, of an antibiotic written on the drugs packet, but it was actually 250 milligram. Maybe uh, those ones were produced by the born again or the, the ones that have little conscience because some will even use expiring drugs, they will update the date, they will got it up, got the date updated. You know, so they will pack in that 500 milligram package. They will, but what you find inside it is 250 milligram, not 500 in the packet there. So some packet, some packet of expired drugs are they are, are usually, you know, they are usually reprinted, repackaged locally. Some are even printed in China, you know, so as to make the drug look superior or make it to be of a look of a superior quality. So that you will be convinced when you want to buy. So some of the labels are tampered with to suit their, 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 their inordinate narratives. These guys, they, they don't have human sympathy. They run these local and international distribution networks like a cartel. No wonder some of those products you see in that NAVDAC invaded market in Aba and uh, some medicines can be found in all the local markets here in Nigeria. They used to export it, they, they used to smuggle it to Mali, Burkina Faso. 
you see some of those products in their streets. You see some in Ghana, Cameroon, Togo. You'll be wonder how did these people manage to bring those those kind of uh, counterfeit products there? You see some in Benin Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, Chad, Guinea Equatoria, and Guinea Conakry, Gabon, and and in many other places. So what now that people did at a, at a bar at their state will help to reduce this carnage. It will help to reduce this their plan to make people die at the time that is not the time they're supposed to die. The state here officials of NAFTAC discovered and intercepted counterfeiters producing a variety of beverages, including wines, soft drinks. Although the NAFDAC people went to the, 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 the yes, they went to that market, but the truth of the matter still remains that most of those uh, counterfeit products are mainly produced in 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 those people's individual private homes. So that is where many of them are produced, not even in that market. You know, so that market is just to to just to put finishing touches and uh, do some labelings there. They have their major mini factories in their various flats, in their various compounds where they live. Residents of Paul Ossita, a suspected fake drug trafficker, has been arrested by officials of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration, NAFDAC, in Asaba Delta State. NAFDAC believes he has been packaging and distributing fake anti-malaria and antibiotic drugs in this small kitchen. The agency also searched other flats within the premises. Imagine what we have. So that thing that they touched at the market is just a tip of the iceberg. So the NAPDAC chairman, Professor Mojisola Adeyeye, also advised people to be checking the, the packaging of the products they want to buy to see if they are still intact or not. You know, that they should try to check if the product has a kind of suspicious smell. Check the date. Check if it is contaminated or not. Please, as always, let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click like on my Facebook page. But why not ring the notification bell? So that you'll be the one of the first to know when I post new videos. Please do me a favor. Share, share, share this video to friends, relatives and even enemies. Who knows, you might save a life. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.